some of the Filipinas, there's really no age gap. So you believe that there's a bigger chance of happy marriage with a Filipina? That's one of the reasons why we would they prefer dating foreigners? Cause yeah. Okay. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. It's just like a, like a casual conversation. I know, like we were doing just now. Yes, between friends, yes. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I have a guest. Today, he is American, Mexican, and he is a teacher and a coach from Texas. So please welcome guys, Mr. Abel. Hi, Abel. <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. <laughs> So Abel here is an American he, and he just got here last week, right? Yeah, and this is my second time in the film. Yes, this is your second time. So today we are going to ask him why he is here in the Philippines and his dating experience. I know you guys are very interested with some other people's dating experience and he has a few good experience and also a bad experience. So let's hear you out. So first, I'm going to ask you, how did you stumble here in the Philippines? What's your story? Well, um, and this is something that you guys might not have heard about before, but it was America's Got Talent. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you wanted to because this is such a good story. Yeah, I was in my last year of teaching <laughs> and I had already put in for my retirement and uh, the pandemic hit. And then we, of course, we taught online and everything like everybody else did. I spent a lot of time on the computer at home working and then I take breaks and then I go to YouTube and start watching YouTube. Yeah. I, I'd watched uh, America's Got Talent um, and there was a Filipino singer named Marcelito from Moet. And um, he was phenomenal. If you haven't seen Marcelito, please go watch his video. Yes. And there was one of uh, a, a girl named Morissette. And I thought it was Alanis Morissette, yeah. so I wasn't really that interested in watching old Alanis Morissette videos. But when I looked at the thumb thumbnail, it was a Filipina. I mean, you know what? I checked it out. She sang Never Enough. And best singer I've ever heard in my life. Kiss Sanang. On the videos that were related, uh, the vloggers started popping up. And so I started coming across a lot of Filipino bloggers. And I think I told Gio, Tim K was the first one. Yeah, Tim K. Yeah. He's in the middle of the ocean waiting this, you know, with his camera on. I was like, who's this guy? And, mm -hmm. and uh, but I watched the whole video and it was kind of interesting. So I watched more and then uh, more uh, a vlogger started popping up to Ned from Philippine Dreams and then uh, Rike mm -hmm. and uh, Old Dog and Geo popped up. I got really fascinated with the Philippines. And then the biggest thing that got me, of course, being older now, I'm 55, is the age gap. You know, yeah. I mean, as I watched more and more videos, I found out that, I mean, with some of the Filipinas, there's really no age gap. No, we don't really care about age gap yeah. here. But it's, it's not like, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's like no age gap. Yeah. A lot of the ones that I've come across are just looking for a good man mm -hmm. that's going to treat them well. Yes. And that's love true. them and cherish them. And when people say it's about the money, they want your money. Well, honestly, you know. I kind of see it as a symbiotic relationship yeah. where well, she's looking for stability, stability excellent word. She's looking for a, just a, a better life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he wants a pretty girl, yeah. you know, someone that's going to treat him well. And I don't know if you know this, but most Filipinas like to have half mixed skins. Oh, yeah. I've heard that. Because they're really the beauty, you know, most of the Miss Philippines. Miss Australia are like half Filipino, half American, half Australian. So most Filipinas really want half kids. That's one of the reasons why we would they prefer dating foreigners because yeah. of the genes. Yes, you're right. You know, the, the combination you know, it makes for some really, really attractive kids. Yes. Who, who does a lot of that? I you know? don't want one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so speaking of having mixed kids, have you dated a Filipina before? Yes, I have. Can you share your experience? Sure. What happened? Or if you're still together? Well, we're not still together. We started chatting. And again, this is during the um, pandemic. Thing, the pandemic. We chatted for about a, a year, over a year, about maybe 14, 15 months before they kind of lifted all the restrictions. 
and I was able to come over here and and see her. And uh, I came over here and I saw her and yeah, things were great. I went home and things were great and we kept in touch and we chatted all the time, but yeah. just over time, over over time, we just kind of started to kind of drift, up, uh, drift apart. And so it just kind of came to an end. Now that you're single, and are you ready to ring bell? <laughs> oh, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, are you looking right now? Yeah. What do you do to look by like a dating site or just like what do you advise us go to mall and just introduce yourself to single play? I, I thought about all those things. You know, a lot of the vloggers, their, their main advice, and it's great advice, mm -hmm. you know, it's boots on the ground. Yeah, boots on the you ground. You got to come here. And some of them don't recommend the dating sites, and others do. And a lot of it has to do with personality, too, right? If you're like this, yes. just if you're yes, just sir. this outgoing person, and you just talk to everybody and whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can come here and just mingle with everybody and talk and stuff, and you meet all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. If you tend to be a little bit more of an introvert, mm -hmm. especially again the older guys that have been out of the dating scene for a long time, yeah, most of them have been married and they're divorced and hey, it gets a little tougher when you get older you know to just jump out there and try to do it all over again and then you realize hey I'm not 25 anymore yeah you know it's not the same thing <laughs> I did try Christian Filipina okay which is recommended by a, a, by a lot of the blogs it's a little pricey but everybody has to pay yeah to yeah. get on yeah. here we pay and the girls don't have to which is great because then there wouldn't be very many girls yeah. on the site I think it was two ninety seven for three months, on uh hot, -huh. and uh, so it's a little bit pricey, but you could do it through installments. Mm -hmm. So you know, it didn't. You could do it. It didn't hurt. Much. Yeah, it didn't hurt as much. Or they give you a fifty dollar discount if you just paid a lot at once. So it was two fifty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, I thought it was a great deal. Yeah, what they claim to do, that they say is that they get rid of the scammers. Yeah, yeah. So did they really do that? They do, and they do an excellent job. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is an excellent website. So, as I'm getting all these messages and winks and, and stuff, I, I learned right away that you wait. Mm -hmm. Wait a day, or even uh, half a day, 12 hours, right? And you wait before you uh, read the messages and, and look at the, the, the winks and the profiles. Yeah. And so, what you start finding out is that I would go by and click on one, and then it would say profile not available. And then I click on the next one, profile not available. Click on the next one, profile not available. And then I click on one and then it was available, the message. And so what they're doing. Oh, they're those are scammers. Yeah. That they what, block. Yeah, they are finding them immediately. I don't know how they do it. Okay. But now yeah, they're kicking them off. They're kicking them off. So they do an excellent job of getting, getting them off. And, and you know what? They have services where they can check. Um, if she's legitimate or not, I mean, I don't know what the fees are. Some of the services are part of your um, your subscription, and then yeah. there are extra services. But the Christian Filipino would send me messages mm -hmm. and emails asking me if everything was going okay, and did I if I needed to speak? Because part of your membership is you get to speak with some of the representatives. You mm -hmm. Okay, like other websites didn't do that. You paid, and you're on your own. Yeah. And they will follow you and they will help you every step of the way if you need their help. Wow, that's really awesome. Oh yeah, I mean, they've got it together. They really, really work at making sure um, that their clients, mm -hmm. you know, are getting what they expect to be getting. Uh, a good, or a, a Filipino that's not a scare. And then you can search by area. If you're going to visit here, and you're only going to stay in one area. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be in Cebu, and that's that's where you're going to be. That's then, good. then you can search just Cebu. You know, it's like why meet a, a great coral? Oh, in Cagayan. Yeah, in Cagayan. When you're going to Dumaguete. Point of you know, <laughs> when or you're coming here. Yeah. Dumaguete, right? And then what I do recommend, and I think I, I think I've, I've uh, seen some of the vloggers, don't pick just one girl yeah well more than one okay and so when you're chatting with them you know you're gonna connect with more than one yeah you know and they're easy the Filipinas are just easy to connect with I would recommend at least two or three because if, if you 
connect with just one and you come halfway around the world yeah and you meet her and it didn't work and it just the chemistry is not there it's not the same as when you were chatting online right. or face talking you know uh face chatting and the whole thing and then all of a sudden you just made a trip off halfway around the world for nothing for nothing yeah okay but if you chat with two or three and you're willing to you know get on a flight and go to another city yeah, yeah. and go and then so you have you, know, you have more options i think the problem is going to happen is if you like all three oh. like the amount of messages and messages winks and then they add you to their buddy list is insane okay I mean, I was getting probably 30 to 50. A day? A day. Wow. A day. Um, messages. It's hard to pick. <laughs> Maybe I should just close your eyes and think, okay, this went for day today. <laughs> it's it, it's kind of like you're like a kid in a candy store, you know, the saying there, and you don't know what candy to, to pick. You want them all. Yeah, and you end up not picking anything because there's a lot. Because I'm not kidding. Yeah. I mean, you are bombarded with uh, messages. So... Chris and Filipina send them to your email. Mm -hmm. when, they get, when, they, when a girl would wink at you. When get, she winks, she messages you, or she adds it to, your, to her buddy list. Yeah. And this is just from two days. Wow, that's a lot. So the prize is really worth it for the amount of women that would message you every day. And there's more from previous days as yeah, you go down. That you yeah. just deleted. Yeah. Wow. So how would you pick? Because of the amount of the women that smith would be in. It's hard. I would just write down their ID number. Okay. And their name. And that if if I thought she was a possibility. And eventually, you know, you get you you come across the list. This is what I would do. And like you said, how do you pick? How do you know? You don't. You don't. You don't know if you're picking the right one or if you're... Maybe uh, you're skipping the, you're skipping the, the right perfect person. Girl. Yeah, you're skipping the perfect girl that was perfect for you. And you skipped her. And you just don't know. That's hard. You kind of just... It, I, I don't really believe in fate and all this other stuff, but yeah. it kind of is. Yeah. So in the U.S., do you have tried dating, dating sites or yeah. dating it, it, and Americans? And it, it worked great when I was younger. I just didn't find the right one for me. People ask me, how aren't you married? Why haven't yeah. you ever been married? And I don't know if they really get it. I can't marry for get married just for the sake of getting there. Just okay. for the status. Just because that's what everybody does. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be unhappy. Okay. Um, again, my family is no different than the rest of America. I have a big, huge fan. Half of them are divorced. I've been divorced, and then the other half are artists still together. I don't want to go through all of that. I've got a friend that's on his fourth marriage. Wow. You know, and I know other people that are, you know, definitely have been married the second time and a couple of third times. You know, and I want to do it just once. And if it doesn't happen for me, then that's okay. It didn't happen. I would definitely like to find one. So do you think the divorce rate in America is caused by the cultural? Like the women. Yeah, right yeah. I mean, but it's been going on for probably, I'd say, the last, since the 1960s. And the government has a big part to do me. So you believe that there's a bigger chance of happy marriage with a Filipina? Oh, absolutely. The culture is so much different. The biggest thing is just they're very, very, very family oriented. And so if that's what you want, then this is the right place. I think the girls here, they want a man. They don't want to cheat, they're not interested in somebody else. They don't care that you're not, in America, you're not a very handsome and attractive guy. Yeah. It's like they see beyond that. They see you. You're, they see you as a person. They see you. What's so if you're a good man, a good person, mm -hmm. um, and you treat them well, they will love you forever. And you don't have to be rich. Okay? Yeah. Uh, of course, you have to be able to pay the bills, you know, and, and provide a, a decent life. Thank you, Maya. Thank you for having me on your channel. Yes, thank you so much for meeting me today. <laughs> Letting me interview you. And guys, if you want to meet a Filipina, Christian Filipina, I have... Absolutely. Yes, I have a link in the description down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And give this video a like if you like this video. 
and click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Paala!